Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you um, the last features I've been uh, working uh, on lately. So first, uh, I um, I implemented the chamfer tool. So you can see here the composition of uh, this drop down change a little bit. You have now fillet and uh, chamfer, while before it was fillet and fillet with um, a preserving point or something like this. So we didn't lose this functionality first, so don't worry. And what happens is when you select the tool now, uh, you see in tool settings you have uh, the radius which appears, but you also have here a box which you can select, which is like the preserve corner and most constraint. So now you can enable this tool here, and this box is a preference setting, so it will stay put. So if you select all the time you want, uh, if all the time you want to preserve the corner, now you just have to tick this box once, and it will always be uh, activated. And um, so you see the tool is still working, and uh, you can also apply a radius. So if I put 10, for instance, and then uh, you select the edges after, you get the you get the um, constraint which is created, and then you can go ahead and make multiple uh, radius. Uh, if you want to stop and not have the radius anymore, you have to exit the tool and start back and you don't have the setting uh, uh, set. So that's for the basic fillet tool. You also have the option to make the fillet inward. So this basically makes like the original arcs as construction and creates a bigger like the inward arc uh, of the fillet. And um, so that's it for the, um, the fillet, and you see now every time I launch, uh, every time I launch uh, the tool, the preserve corner is always uh, ticked. So it's like you can close FreeCAD and it will still be ticked. Uh, all right, now for the chamfer tool, which is here, you see you also have radius here, you also have preserve corner and most constraints, and uh, you also have inward, but for just a normal chamfer, it doesn't do anything. But you see here, you have another setting, which is number of lines, because you can actually make like more complicated uh, chamfers if you need them. So you see, you have the basic chamfer. Uh, you can also put a radius to your basic chamfer, for instance, ten millimeters. So you have the. Um, like the radius, or let's say, yeah, the radius of uh, the chamfer, which is 10 millimeters. And uh, you can also select more uh, lines. So, what does that mean? It means that you will see, I just select, and you see here for the chamfer, instead of having one line, you have actually two lines. And um, so, my, my box is out of, uh, of corners. Let's, let's make several others. So basically, you can you can put as many uh, lines as you want. So, for example, for five lines. So it might be for some specific cases, um, and you can also uh, do this tool uh, inward as well. So let's say you want like three lines, and you want them inwards. Then. Uh, I got a bug here. I don't know why. Let's try that again. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if maybe the. Oh, that's something that will need to be fixed, but it was working before. So let's see. There, you go. there it goes. So yeah, seems like there's a little. Um, something to, to solve here. And you can always put the radius and uh, you can increase maybe on five lines in world. So you can make more complex um, more complex uh, geometries. Uh, what is the problem now? Redundant constraints. So basically that's that's it for the chamfer tool. You see, yeah, there might be a few bugs that needs to be ironed out, but the idea is here. Um, 
Now, uh, what we have next is under the slot tool here, we have, I created like the arc slot tool and the rectangle slot tool. So let's go ahead, just to show you first how it works, it's like you can create uh, well arc slots. So it's basically um, a slot which is uh, following um, an arc of circles. So, and you can select the um, radius like this. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. You can also use tool settings here to, to set it up. So, x of first point, y of first point, let's say 0 and then uh, 15. Uh, so, you see now the circle is here at uh, 0, 15. Radius, we can put 10. Start angle, we can put maybe, I don't know, uh, 45 degree. And uh, you see now it starts at 45 uh, from the H axis. Yeah, I shouldn't write that here. It's f angle from the H axis. And arc angle maybe 120. And slot radius maybe 3. Let's see how it goes. Um, and you see it creates all the constraints that you need. So you have here the 15 uh, on y-axis, you have the point on object because we asked for x equal 0, which is automatically replaced by a point on object. We have uh, 10 millimeter, which is actually the, the radius of the initial, um, of the initial um, circle. But as you see here, it's a distance constraint because the circle itself is not created. So, but yeah, basically that's it. And uh, but the other point is actually oh yeah it's it's not moving here of course the point is uh, is locked here so yeah that's about it for for this um, arc slot tool and then uh, yeah for the slot tool I didn't mention but now it's also supporting the tool settings uh, so you can yeah put some uh, maybe twenty here even zero uh, and you see how the slot is appearing here and it's following you see the first point is uh, is locked and then you can put a length let's say uh, 20 and you see now uh, the length is locked as well so and the angle to h axis here uh, we want maybe uh, 45 degree and uh, so yeah here yeah i need to fix that because the angle is not in the same um, in the same uh, way as as the in the other tools, but uh, so 45, and then you can also select the radius now, which was not possible before. So you can just click, or you can also put input the input the radius, and then you get a fully constrained uh, slot. And the tool also work without it. Obviously, you just have now the the third point, which is enabled. Uh, so let's apply that here. Uh, let me just check that the recording is still going on, which is uh, which is the case. And so next is the rectangle slot today. Uh, so um, basically it does something very similar to the arc slot, but uh, with, uh, as you can see here, uh, rectang um, like rectangular shape, so no arcs at the ends. So you can, you see, make a slot like this. And you also have the possibility here to input your uh, your coordinates. Uh, first, so you see, up. Oh, let's go here. First radius, maybe you want 50. Uh, start angle, 0. Arc angle, 109.80. And second radius, you see, it's like in the... Um, uh, let's say we want 30. Oh, here we go. So we have uh, an unexpected behavior as well. Zero degree. Yeah, it seems that um, we have like an issue here. I will need to look into it as well. Um, uh, it's with this constraint, it feels, but it's supposed to be uh, 180. I think it should not take this line and yeah, it should apply the angle to this line instead. And it's currently not doing not doing it correctly. I will keep all those geometries here just to uh, to get back to them later. Um, and now another bug which is annoying is that when I enable uh, 
the uh, construction geometry. The icons here are not updating, I don't know why, and I, I can't figure it out, but the, it, it actually becomes like construction geometries, but it's just the icons uh, which are not switching to their construction um, icons, and uh, so if you know what could be the cause, please leave a comment on the forum, uh, it would be nice. And um, so let's inactivate uh, this. Now, uh, the last tool that I made and I wanted to share today is this uh, frame tool here. So under the rectangle um, tool set, you have now frame, which is basically like you draw a first box and then you can draw a second box, which is um, at equal distances of the first uh, of the first box. So it's yeah, very, very basic, but it can be handy because this shape is like a very um, basic shape and do it, making it manually is actually not so straightforward you need to make like several lines and you need to make a lot of uh, of constraints so i thought it would be a nice addition to um, to the uh, to the sketcher and this tool is also so for this tool you see the construction icon is actually working i don't know what is the difference with this composition but i cannot figure it out as i said and and you can actually um, use also the tool settings here so you see coordinate of the first point is 100 uh, 120 and um, so it's it's basically the same as the rectangle box so you can have maybe 60, 40, and here you see you need to select where you want the box because you know, with this length and width you have four possibilities and then you can apply it and you can apply the thickness. So the thickness, if it's positive, it will be uh, inside <coughs> and if it's negative, it will be outside. So let's say we want maybe, maybe five of thickness and you get the frame here fully constrained as well. So it can be yeah, and a small additional tool for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, oh yeah, all right. Wait a minute. I think I also made a lot of uh, improvement on the constraint contextually. So we can have a, a, a small look at that as well. So um, constraint contextually is a tool which enables you to um, to. Um, uh, to constrain uh, by selecting elements, whatever they are, and like the tool will guess uh, what constraint you are actually trying to, to implement. So let's let's look here. You see, I select a line, so I get a distance automatically. And depending on the mouse position, and mouse position, you get you see you have different uh, possibilities. For instance, you can have. Uh, uh, x distance or y distance if you're on that side and in the middle or further here you get a uh, normal distance uh, and then you have a modifier key which is shift and when you press it you actually get uh, other possibilities so you, you get vertical here you get uh, horizon, uh, sorry, horizontal and then vertical and you also have block uh, constraint and it cycles so you get you go back and you can cycle through all the possibilities so yeah that's a small addition here that I, that I made and then you can select other elements so if you select a circle you will get a, a tangent uh, if you select a line and another line you get an angle if the angle applied is zero it becomes a parallel um, constraint and then you can select two lines and have a distance or you can also have equality if you, uh, if you cycle through the alternate modes uh, you can also have co-axis uh, co so it means they are on the same axis and, uh, and then you go back to, um, to distance so equality, co-axis and back to distance so actually if the lines are not parallel you have more uh, possibilities because you first have angle and then you get equality and you get parallel, you get perpendicular and uh, on axis. So you see the tool try to 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 adapt to avoid uh, over constraints and uh, impossible uh, constraints, which 
that was kind of the point and also if you select this line and the axis for instance you will get angle and as I said if you put zero then instead of parallel the tool will catch it and try not to apply parallel to the axis and will apply vertical instead so yeah that's pretty much it uh, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, don't hesitate to leave a comment on uh, on the forum it's always appreciated and maybe subscribe to to this channel on youtube as well uh, thanks thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day bye bye